Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals. Today is going to be a fun day. We got um, part of our order from our Kong Zoo Enrichment Fundraiser. And uh, Kylie is giggity. We have a <laughs> lot of toys to open up and see. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like Christmas for us here. So thank you guys so much, everyone who donated. I think I bought pretty much everything off of the list that we could buy. So One or two of each thing. <laughs> like We have a lot. Yeah, and, and some of it's still coming, um, but we uh, I can't wait to break into everything. So we have Bailey, the Kong Zoo rep here with us, and we are going to unveil everything that we got, and then we're going to go give it to the animals. Not all of it, because there's so much. We need this to, I've been telling Kylie, let's not open everything and use it right away. Well, so we have toys for like the next two years. But I still have stuff coming, so yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we got our big box of Kong goodies, and I'm here with Bailey. Bailey, tell us a little bit about what we do. Hey, so I'm Bailey, I'm with Kong Zoo. So I cover the Southeast, and I'm based in Florida, around the corner from you yes, guys, luckily. Yes. <laughs> um, so we did an enrichment fundraiser with Amazing Animals here, and we raised $500? Yes, so yeah, we, $500. Hit our, we hit our goal. Thank you for everyone who donated. Yes, amazing. And then at Kong Zoo, we matched that 10%. Uh, so they got even more goodies for the animals. This is just a small piece of what we have. So thank you guys. But we're excited to um, unbox this and see what goodies that you all helped them raise here. All right, should we get in? All right, okay, let's, let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy. And this is like packed full. Like and to we the have top. more coming. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, we had to do this for the capybaras. Yes. Um, this was one that you actually gave us uh, earlier this year to see if they would like it. And this is Penelope's favorite thing ever. So we had to get her a new one. So we'll give that to them. She's actually the reason that's on our website. So these are kind of the fun things of us being neighbors is I brought that over. We didn't even realize that'd be good for zoo animals and she made it famous. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of fun to work with Kong Zoo too and kind of be their guinea pigs. Um, we love it. So we can kind of test out to see which animals like what things. So let's see what else. I mean, I'm, th this is what I'm most excited mermaid for. Mermaid tail. Yeah, this is a mermaid tail bed. Um, I don't know if you guys see the glitter and everything. Yes. And I think the skunks are going to love to snuggle in this. So I'm definitely giving yes. this to the skunks. And, and if you have a cat at home, you need to go out and sure, get this. For sure. Because this is on, like, you can go out to whoever sells Kong stuff yeah. on the website, right? Yeah, for Very sure. Cool. And we had to get a couple other beds, too. So a lot of the animals love snuggling in these beds. Yes. These make some fun crinkle sounds. They're real soft. So um, definitely got some fun beds for everyone to snuggle in. This will be nice when it cools, too. Yes, we're starting Winter. to get fall finally I'm and hopeful. then this i'm excited for this is gonna i mean so many animals will have fun with this obviously cats good cat yes, toy great cat um, toy. also fun for monkeys um kinkajous for sure so yep. it's got the jingle it's got maybe um, the skunks catnip Ooh, the skunks could have fun with maybe. this and you could even put treats in here too so make it extra fun so and it has be... a tall wand that's gonna hang oh, yeah, in the, the middle of, of it. it yep and i think it comes with some catnip too that's always fun everything with catnip everything with catnip yep including these oh yeah so the cats the got some i mean our little uh Asian leopard cat, Rebel, this is like his favorite thing ever is the cat wand. I always have to have playtime with him each day. So we go through these cat wands a lot. So these Yay. are definitely a good thing to have. And these expand so you're yes. nice and safe. So that way he doesn't get my hands on accident. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ooh, this thing looks, this is real, real durable. Yes, so I'm thinking very. the foxes. It's really hard to find good durable things for foxes because they tear up everything. So if you have a dog that's a tough chew too, I mean, this is sturdy. It's great. So, and it's good for their dental health too. It right, has a lot of little bumps grooves. and ridges there. So it really helps clean the tartar off their teeth well, too. We're going to see if the foxes can uh, <laughs> live up to not destroying yes. this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Marmosets. Oh yeah, yes. let's see. We got, uh, let's just, we have so Some many fun feeders. little puzzle feeders here, different sizes. Ooh, that one's really fun. Ooh. I think Rocco, the quad yes. monkey, is going to love that. We just have so much Great. stuff. I'm going to start grabbing everything. Look at this. Yes. This is bamboo too, so really, really cool. It's got lots of fun holes, so uh, the animals will hit this all around to get all their treats out of. If you have a dog at home, you've definitely seen the Kong Wobbler. This is like the number one like slow feeder puzzle toy for dogs. Feel how heavy that is. I know. I think we had one for our husky actually. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had fun with it. Um, yeah. And yeah, and even like the monkeys can yes. wobble that around. Mm -hmm. Rocco, and it comes in different Kinkajus. sizes too. Yeah, I think we it, have more coming in the next box. <laughs> right. And it's got yeah, so it's really easy to clean, clean and everything, yep. which is important. 
Ooh, this one of my favorites. So this is the Kong Blue. This is a vet exclusive. So similar to the black or red that you've seen in the pet stores, you can get this from your local veterinarian. Um, it's just as strong as the black, so you can feel how durable oh, yeah. that mm -hmm. is. Yep. Um, and it's also radio opaque. So if we were to happen and ingest this, they can find it on x-ray. So it keeps it really safe. That is actually, I think I got multiple pulls of those because that is so smart. You know, sometimes it is a concern. Yep. Got, yep. I think I got every size in the Kong blue. Oh, I see another, yep, another yep. one. Uh, but that's blue. so smart. Cause you know, with some of these animals, they are tough on the toys. If they ingest it and they're starting to feel upset, um, it can be really hard if they were to ingest a little soft thing. It's not going to show up on x-rays and you might not know what's going on. So that's really, really cool that you guys put that in there so that it will show up on an x-ray if they were to ingest it. I mean, they're really sturdy, so hopefully they don't, but really, really smart for that to have uh, that in there. Ooh. What are these for, Kylie? Okay, so I got a little excited, and I don't know, you guys all know Baby Lima um, is three months old, oh my gosh. and it's really hard to know sex for sloths. They say to wait till about six months old, so we're really not sure, and these little, they're binkies. They're like little baby binkies so in cute. pink and, and blue, soft. so I think we're going to have to use these when we find out if Lima is a boy or a girl to kind of have a fun announcement, gender reveal with Perfect. our Kong binkies. <laughs> oh, and I like these. These are, now I have a lot more of these coming too. A lot um, of I have hose rubbers. <laughs> yes, this is made out of fire hose. So it's super, super sturdy material. Mm -hmm. um, I know they have some that float. I know I got more for the capybaras. I, yep. I know I have a ton, like there's like big buoys. And so this should be a nice, dirty material as well and you can even hang stuff so yes. um yes we'll definitely have some fun with all of that more floating things so a bumper mm, that's so a floater can, one yeah, that's a floater capybaras are going to need yes, this. yes a lot of capybara toys for in this sure. box and oh fun fun for the yeah. cats so and if you, know, you have a cat you've seen this yes. kangaroo before number one cat toy it's amazing yeah it's stuffed with catnip cat oh yeah because yeah, the cats they love smells and you know it's really awesome because a lot of our cat stuff you know we do a lot of stuffed animals and stuff and they're all getting pretty old and scrounge i actually was starting to throw away a bunch of their stuff so it's really cool to be able to get brand new fun fresh new toys for the cats more cat toy a puzzle oh, mat i'm really excited for that yes. one so this puzzle mat um it actually has little pockets in it too so we can hide treats and stuff in there so that's going to okay. be really fun and perfect looks like we're getting yeah getting towards the end stuff um, all sorts of fun balls, Kong stuff. I mean, yeah. obviously it's all Kong, Amazing. but it's got little different grooves, holes in it. Yep, took care of the reptiles with this fun one too. Oh, yeah, so. we're going to hide some mealworms yep. in there for the reptiles. There we go. Um, one of our friends who actually, they ended up with one of our capybaras from earlier this year, uh, used this for their capybaras and hid treats in it. So I uh, got the idea from them. So we're going to mm -hmm. try that out with and ours. I saw Kinkachus do that too Ooh. and hang it with peanut butter. I so. like that. I like yes. that. Let's see, right. we're running out of space about, here. Pretty much yeah. almost out. Ooh, and we got some treats too. Treats. Some some Kong snacks. And this is, which one did we get? Um, the peanut butter. The peanut oh, butter liver. one. Yeah, I was going to say, I got liver, I got peanut butter. So some yummy treats as well. Yep. So I am so Lots excited. We are going to go have some fun with the animals now. Yes. All right, so first stop in our reptile house, we are going to give our blue tongue skink this awesome little Y and I have stuffed it with mealworms. So they are coming out of there like crazy and let's see if they plays with it.
our foxes next, uh, Gambit and Thor. I have the awesome blue Kong, so in case they eat it, we'll see on an x-rays. Hopefully they don't. But I put some of these yummy little liver Kong treats in there, so I think they're going to have fun getting those out. And then the really, really sturdy bones. So this is great for them to chew on. You know, foxes love to get into everything. So I think these two things will be really fun and really, really sturdy. That's important for them. So this is the original Kong toy that we've probably gotten about four, maybe five months ago. And it is still like good. It's not beat up. There's some teeth marks in it. The capybaras have huge rodent teeth, but it floats and Penelope tosses this all around. And it's a testament to it lasting, but we do have a brand new one. And we have this new green one that floats as well. So we're gonna see if Penelope wants to come over and swim and get some fun treats. So let's see what happens. Pee pee. Penelope! leopard cat and he's still a kitten so I think he is gonna have a ball with this fun toy and he loves chasing stuff so this has a nice long wand and a really fun little bouncy ball so we'll go have some fun with Rebel Next we have Rocco, our Quadamundi. He's a mammal from South America and he's related to the raccoons. And this is the Kong Tilt. And it has a little bit of puffs in it and it moves around and it's kind of weighted at the bottom. And uh, when he moves it around, the puffs will go to the middle and that's where he's gonna eat it. Hopefully he's gonna have a good time with it. Here we go.
So next we're gonna go into our primates and primates are extremely important that they have a lot of mental and physical stimulation. A lot of our monkeys actually live alone and that's because they were pet primates. So we have to work even harder to give them enrichment for them to play. And we have the um, tennis ball here. We have the spinner. We have a wobbler and we have the puzzle mints. It's a puzzle <laughs> mat and it actually has pockets in it. Um, and I think the animals are gonna love it. So let's go see how our primates react to some Kong Zoo toys. Thank you guys so much for checking us out today. We hope you enjoyed it. The animals had so much fun. Thank you everyone who donated to our Kong Zoo Enrichment Fundraiser. We have so many more animals, on, or we have so many more toys on the way as well. We do, yes. I think one of my favorites was Gambit, our fox, with the Kong, the blue Kong. He literally, they're so smart, he threw it to get the toys out. Yeah. So he threw it and pounced on it. I mean, the monkeys had so much fun, the cats had fun, the skunks. Rocco loved oh. the tilt. Oh, Rocco had Rocco. so much fun. Oh, fun. So, so much fun. I think it's fun because, you know, in our heads, we come up with ways that the animals will use it. And then they do completely different things with it, too. So yep. so much fun. And they're so smart when they figure it out. And Bailey, how can people um, buy Kongs and how can they get a hold of these fun toys? Yeah, so um, if you're a regular dog and cat owner, you can check out your local pet store or your veterinarian for those vet exclusives. Yes. And then tell your zoo about the new Kong Zoo. Ask how you can donate to their uh, Kong Zoo fund. And if you're a zoo facility, reach out to your local rep. We're happy to get you in touch with some awesome programs to get some fun toys. Yes, Bailey awesome. is awesome if you're a zoo here in the southeastern part of the U.S. Yeah. And they have such great prices too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, thank you guys so much for checking us out. Thank you for your support. Thank you again to everyone who donated. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to donate to our Kong Zoo Enrichment Fundraiser, we are doing an end of year giving campaign right now on our Facebook page to help us build a new barn. So visit that. And um, as always, guys, be nice, be kind, and uh, go out there and do, do something, something amazing. amazing.